This week, China escalated the trade battle, hitting the United States with $16 billion in retaliatory tariffs. As the trade conflict continues to grow, the Federal Reserve is taking notice. Steve Leisman joins us now with the latest. Steve. Yeah, Morgan, there's concern and a lot of uncertainty. And the first place the Fed is going to look for the impact of tariffs is going to be the inflation data. The government released producer prices this morning for July. We get consumer prices tomorrow, so take a look at that. Today's PPI unchanged, but it remains at a high level. Watch how it's been ticking up year over year at 3.3 percent, just a tenth below the six-year high hit last month. Prices take out the food and, en the, uh, uh, food and energy, hitting a new six-year high, or, or darn close to it, of 2.8 percent, and they have been rising steadily. Oxford Economics saying, quote, going forward, we look for businesses to exercise pricing power where possible and pass on some of those rising costs to consumers. But Diane Swank sees things going the other way. She notes the drop in food prices are likely due to retaliatory tariffs on agricultural products, which are putting a crimp on farm incomes. The Fed is going to be watching both growth and inflation numbers to see how tariffs affect the economy. Here's a little cheat sheet here. It's going to look past one-time price rises. Second, it'll monitor the effect on inflation expectations. In other words, do we change our view of what inflation is going to do in the future? It's going to see some offsetting economic drag and watch this flow from producer prices to consumer prices. The bigger worry I am hearing from the Fed is that the president's tariffs could weaken U.S. growth. So right now, less of an inflation concern, more of a growth concern, guys. Hmm. It's never easy being a Fed official. No. No. Steve uh, Leesman, yes. Uh, quick question here. Yeah. In terms of uh, worry about weakening U.S. economic growth, do they sort of have a timeline in terms of when they think that could happen? Uh, no. I mean, they're looking for it. I think they looked at today's producer prices to look for it. Here's a good example. You know the washing machine thing, which, which went up a lot, like huge increases in washing machine prices? That goes up, and that's not really an interest to them. What they want to know is the next month. Does that continue? A one-time rise in the price level is not inflation, which measures the rate of growth of prices. Transitory. Transi that's what, that's, transitory. That that's is one Janet of the Yellen was terms of about. art used by Janet Yellen.